a razor, then it was going to be like a, a significant shift for evil geniuses. Yeah. But the fact that they're doing offlane razor yeah, for me. That gets this milled off and get these extra auto attacks in. A ton. Ooh, mid lane, Yopash goes down. Oh, in the CVC matchup. Abed, the old dog, takes down the young gun, Yopaj, and Tim's also taking a ton of damage there with Maledict. Can EG get off with a two couple quick kills? Tries to find him around the corner, but Tim's makes we're his way out. We're not going to defend us. Let them have this tower. Uh, we're going to buy time for this blink. Tim's jump in from downtown. Abed tries to get him to bushwhack afterwards. Oh, Overgo to the interrupt. Oh, and Skem goes down to the Maledict. They're going to lose Jerax, but... You take that trade as you got out with the rest of the heroes. Very that early Maelstrom. And so should be able to farm up more so than you normally see from these heroes. Jerex throws out the cast. Oh, the bounce. Oh, the bounce is good. Is it going to be good enough to take down FBZ? It's a very tanky dragon. Jerex surviving through it. And yes, FBZ is going to probably die and found to that one. He's dead. He ends up <laughs> popping. They take down two for only Jerex. And now Skem also falling down. Great fight. And man... Witch Doctor Cask, when it catches he those two, have gone up that much at all. He's lowest of the cores, and now they're going to find Jerex as well. Is he going to go down? He will. He blinked Yopaj, in on Yopaj. Blinked in. Has the Sonic Wave afterwards. Needs to get a little bit of separation, but it's not going to happen. Yopaj dead. Now Tim's also starting to drop. And they will take that trade every day of the week. That is Roche. Get vision onto him there. But Arteezy in the mid lane. Okay. Bushwhack afterwards. Keeps Nightfall back. The jump in. They find Yopaj. Do they have enough? The cask afterwards, the bounce is out. But he's able to get away for a moment. But the cask bounces forward <laughs> after he went for the TP. How unlucky can you get? Oh, man. These cask have been so valued this game. This is like a, one of those games you really enjoy playing Witch Doctor. Oh, yeah. You need to get these good casks. But uh, Arteza gets jumped in the mid lane. Maybe he'll lose the Aegis here. Yeah, I mean, still a ton of time. I don't know if you care that much about it. If you can win the fight afterwards as two heroes caught with the Maledict and Jackie forced to use that time lapse. Link up afterwards. They don't want to run high ground, though. You can see EG still They do still have BKB on both Dragonite and the Queen of Pain now. All right. Big window if they want to go for it. Stun to start. Now looking for the back lines. They find Tim's. He's going to be done. Break afterwards onto the Storm, though. And, well, the chase down. Jackie just getting he eviscerated. Just didn't stand a chance, and now Refresher out for the Razor. Yopaj getting absolutely destroyed here by Abed, who chases them down one by one by one. They're going to fall. Now, they did lose the Razor and the Witch Doctor, but FBZ, I don't know if they're going to be able to actually chase him down here. Now, the buyback. Now, looking for the burst down. Can they do it? Abed trying to run away, but he saved his PKP that whole time. And Abed, he's just going to be able to survive through it. Tries to run down FBZ. Thought about going in for more, but is going to jump away <laughs> It was there. a very early spawn, and they're thinking about getting in here. Can they get there in time, though? The scan is already out. Bugs are coming. It's too late. And now they're kind of committed. They jump in. They try and find the stun. Will it be enough? But they find the bushwhack onto Abed, keeping him out of the fight for the moment. Nightfall got a decent drain. Yopaj in some trouble. Blinks out. But Abed, he's on the case. Wants to hunt him down one by one. Eventually, they take down the Quap. Jackie leaving Skem to the Wolves. He doesn't have anything else he can do. Just has to get out. Yeah. That was like one that minute we provides. And uh, our Tor is just way too strong here. Like, he's just going to get this Rax. And they're pinging him. They're going to go and jump on Arteezy here. Try and do what they can. They've got so much heal, though, coming out from crit. It's ridiculously hard to take this fight. They pop the BKB from FBZ. And now Jackie also doing it. Sonic Wave. They get the Rax. Are they going to go for more? FBZ pulled in. Starting to be brought down. An overgrowth. But where's the follow-up? There's nothing there. Abed's on top of Skim. Skim is going to die. And EG... They are ready to have a better day number two than they had day number one. Yeah, and they're just going to keep going here, right? There's a buyback from this Chi, but do you really care? There's still an Aegis on Arteezy. You know, Ab is getting mana from this Io. Buyback from Dragonite, all right. They go Jack in, Boys, but oh, Jackie's no. done! And dead for 70, no buyback! Silence is out. They turn now onto Yopaj. Pops the BKB, tries to walk away, and Arteezy? Going to get brought down a little bit low, but he still has the Aegis to play with, so he just walks away. And the, another glyph is going to be popped, but EG, they are not going to be deterred. That's Maybe kill cool this thing. Io first. One last shot here. Jerax jumps in. Who do they find? Roof? They're going to get the Witch Doctor, but then the pull in. Abed <laughs> wants to go under one. Jerax is going to die. But can they find anything afterwards? Arteezy just walks in, starting to rip him to shreds. That was a Dragon Knight. No longer. Godlike TA. And well, coming back for more, why not?
three dead, no buyback on the DK, no buyback on the tree. And uh, yeah, I think that they're sensing that it might be coming to an end here. Yeah, they're dropping the voice lines. They know they won. So that's when you can drop the voice lines. <laughs> there you um, go. Yeah, this this T is just a monster. Our TZ actually had a perfect game, uh, and they do call the GG. They're like, "Yep, it's over." Um, well played by EG for sure. Very yeah, impressive. Got the kill. So, yeah, it's EG just needs to ride the wave like they did in game one, yeah. and then they should okay. be able to. We can't really fight him, oh, and he got the wild kin actually, or the wild wing. Ooh, yeah, do get a kill bottom. Nice. Just give him the old rundown there. Not bad. Not bad. That's that's a really good kill to gate right away because this bottom lane if it does start going towards radiant side um it gets really difficult for dragonite to stay and that's the top last lane. pick answer that they had against the underlord they're gonna get the kill crit's actually the one that picks it up and with then, that tornado oh my god tour has to be careful tims oh, oh, oh <laughs> my god uh, whoop oh, he didn't pop the enrage even and they crazy. are gonna make a play top would be big for them if they can get it. Tim's, he's going to be found. And Decrep. Meanwhile, Yoposh goes in. They're able to break the TP. He's in trouble now. Backup coming. Throws in the boat. Can they get in with the rest of the team? Tries to make it work. FBZ running down crit. Still, they keeping Yoposh alive and turns and hits with the crit. FBZ takes him down. Well, Yopaj still damage. surviving through all of this. They don't have nearly enough damage, although maybe they will. Artur jumps in, wants to get the kill, and the pullback comes a second too late. Abed now looking to chase down, but needs to be careful. We saw, saw Tim's walk up and go uh, give a little bit of a talk to Jackie's. Definitely playing really, really good this time around. And, well, moves in. Inkswell. Do they have enough damage for the Underlord? Hard to kill, and with the boat buff afterwards, Yule Scepter trying to stay alive, just waiting out this BKB from Abed and then getting healed. He has taken so much damage. In the end, it's going to be Tim's that goes down first. Will they be able to find anybody else afterwards? The Pit of Malice dropped down. Good chunk of damage. Yopaj living through all of this, and, well, DK is going to fall. I think they have to run away. They too much? Actually, there's still BKB and oh, Ursa. Maybe we'll okay. this. This could be the way to do it. Although, again, they find one. Will it be enough? They try to take down the Razor now. That's the top net worth in the game, and he's dead. Can they find any more? FBC has taken so much damage in this one. And, well, the Yules, it's not going to keep them alive this time. What a beautiful uh, bait back into the ward. You know, Jack Boys felt safe. You know, he got the static link, but then he just... He walks up to this Ursa and gets murdered. There's Abed still chasing Skim in the bottom lane. He's not afraid. The ulti's down. He knows. So Abed comes on in, gets the kill, and, well, finds nice. one right at the start. Stun is there. In some trouble, but FBZ trying to play a little bit of interrupt here. They have the torrent follow-up. A good amount of damage there under Arteezy. And then the root Abed out into all of them onto two. Can they take down this Pugno? It would be a big win to get right at the start of this one. But now Jackie comes in. Puts the end to all of that. The boat jumps forward, stun from Nightfall. The stun hits onto both of them, actually. And, well, boom, they're just outlasting him in this fight. And now Abed, he's in a ton of trouble. Has to back out of this one. But, well, maybe with the creeps, is it going to be enough to keep him alive? It's still a long duration, and that's refresher used from Jackie. He runs in for round two. Can they kill him all off? Arteezy, he's linked up. They try and fight around this pit. Already down, Abed low. They just don't have that follow-up damage. Arteezy linked up, but it's not nearly enough. They don't have the control. They don't have the damage. And Ursa starting to really lay into him, but he's going to fall. He, he ran into everybody. And now crits down, and maybe they even catch Abed after this. I mean, boom, they, they outlasted him. I thought it was going to go the other way, but Abed gets pulled back in with the X, and they're all and dead. Nightfall, too. Nightfall runs away. They, they maybe don't have enough damage for them. I mean, it's just going to be on a brink. It's going to be right there. This is so close. Oh, man. Can they get there in time? Blinks in, tries to make it in time, but it's just a second too late. And Yopaj gets the ages. Now running in, wants to take this fight. Jackie onto one. Tim's does die. Crit, though, in trouble. Can they stay alive for a second round? FBC also goes down. So they lose three, and, well, they might lose them all. The Roche that loses you the game. This is not the man it's supposed to go for. Boom. Are you kidding me? They just lost everybody. They lost everything. Oh, man. Everything's just going wrong. Unless... <laughs> oh, okay. no, almost a good enough. The Shard could have saved him, but it wasn't He's enough. Right. Round two. Uh, Arteezy's got a nullifier here. Oh. Well, wait a minute now. Yopaj 
Maybe in some trouble. Yule Scepter, though, to start. This is good. Can they get out with the rest of them? They gotta be careful. FPZ pops the BKB, gonna drop the pit afterwards. The boat is there for all of the extra rum buff. Afterwards, Torrent Storm going to buy a little bit of extra They're trying time. To get out. <laughs> they really need to get the heck out of here. But second round, they got him linked up. RTZ trying to get a little bit of a separation. And the spider legs, he'll never be cliffed again. This is exactly what they needed. And now Jackie, he's going to be the one in trouble. They find him for the Rigo. Abed getting brought down incredibly low, what? though. And he's going to die instead. Wait, R and now they're going to run. The Ul Scepter lift up the fight. It goes back and forth. And Razor comes out on top. What is going on? <laughs> I'm so crazy. They're going to see everything. They're going to see all of them. Wait, can they take the right kill. fight? Abed over to the side. Ah, uh, can they get him? Can they jump in? They're finding the back lines, but Jackie, he's on top of one. They're buying so much time with Jerex, but eventually he will die. Abed now trying to take down Tim's. He backs away. Boat is already out. Link up immediately broken by the Ursa. Nightfall, he's in the midst of terror and is just going to die. So a couple of key deaths, and Abed just has to run away. Nightfall does not have buyback. Wow, I, I love it. Like. These are the kind of late game calls that some. Oh, the Fiend's Gate! What? Look at it, they're what? smashing Abed! Oh, Abed! He didn't have anything left, there's no remnants! Abed pushed back in Tidal Wave towards the base <laughs> and they bring him down! <laughs> they run into the brick wall of Scam in the Hex immediately there, jumps for the back lines. Abed can't find a target. The Nether Ward is down. There is a link up together of both of them, but Jerex just completely eviscerated, and well, they are starting to bring down Yopash, but he just gets away afterwards, and now EG in a world of hurt. BKB finally coming out from Abed there, wants to kill off Yopash. The rest of the team starting to drop down lower, but will it be low enough? They don't have a buyback from Jerex. They are slowly but steadily killing them off. Abed getting some carry work in, and he's actually dead for 90 seconds. Wait a minute here. Hold on. If he can get out with Arteezy, there's maybe a chance. Remnant gets away, trying to kite this one out, and again, they're falling. Nightfall, no more dragon form, but he does get out of there with the Lotus for the second. I mean, it, it, it's better than it could have gone. The, that's as good as it gets. Boom, still committed to taking the rest of these structures. Man, I think they can keep going, right? There's, but there is BKB on Earth, so I don't know if they're aware of this. And all of the chaos, he still Again, has looking for the jump in, gets the stun. Eight seconds until Dragon Form has to back away. Meanwhile, the jump in, Arteezy trying to do what he can. He's still hanging on to that BKB. Finally pops it, wants to turn to fight, but the BKB is out afterwards from Yopaj. EG, no more BKB left on the Ursa. Now he's being pushed around by all the water. Root is there, Mega Creeps are out. Nightfall trying to take down FPZ. They're bringing him down low, but the cheese passed over. He's gonna get healed back up. Will it be enough though? Ursa continuing to lay into that Underlord, but he's able to survive. Abed runs through all of them. A couple quick hits, the good pit laid down. Do they have enough damage? It does not look like it. With Ursa dead, with Ember dead, it's GG called 1-1 again.